On the eve of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's historic visit to Israel, a senior official from the Israeli Foreign Ministry said that his country supports India on terrorism emanating from Pakistan hook, line and sinker and is not asking for a quid pro quo. Modi is expected to arrive in Israel at 4 p.m. today. Amid the continuing standoff, China on Monday said that the trespassing of Indian troops in Doklam was a betrayal of a treaty signed in 1890, and India had used Bhutan as an excuse to violate the international border between the two countries. Beijing has demanded the immediate withdrawal of Indian troops. Two of the men accused in the June 29 lynching of meat trader Alimuddin Ansari in Ramgarh surrendered before the Ramgarh District Court on Monday. The men, identified as Deepak Mishra and Chotu Verma, are reported to be prominent members of the local Gau Rakshak Samiti. Police said they were among those who had executed the attack. In a yet another unique marketing strategy, Shah Rukh Khan, Anushka Sharma and film director Imtiaz Ali released the next song of the film Jab Harry Met Sejal, Beach Beach Me, while pub crawling. Both the actors and Imtiaz danced away on Bollywood numbers with fans all night as they jumped from one swanky pub to another in South Mumbai. After former India captain Ravi Shastri applied for the post of head coach of Team India, former Indian player Sunil Gavaskar has claimed that he indeed is the front-runner for the post. Earlier, Ravi Shastri was the director of the Indian team from the year 2014 to 16.